We are thrilled to announce Midas is launching our community ecosystem governance program to truly uphold our mission of bringing blockchain to the people. As we move further down the path toward decentralization, the Community Ecosystem Governance Program invites our community to verify projects on the Metis network. While we remain a permissionless platform, we're introducing Metis Governance Snapshots to give our ecosystem back to the community and allow you to vote for the projects you care about most. Projects will be able to apply through our governance system for consideration, and through the voting process, the Metis team will empower the community to verify projects and inform our marketing and promotion decisions. In service of decentralization, we need your support to make our network the Web3 home for everyone. Be sure to stay tuned to our social channels to stay informed and cast your votes. Now is the time to bring Metis to the people. All right, guys, we are back. This is CEG episode 15. We try to make this uh, pretty quick for you guys, but uh, just a few quick announcements. Um, uh, Friday, this will go live. As, as soon as that goes live, you can start voting all weekend. So you got 72 hours to vote, even a little bit of Monday morning, if you'd like. Um, you, you can always uh, review the project in Candidac. And then also we have our CEG Telegram group as well. Uh, but yeah, the program's been going really, really well. Um, we, continue to get a pipeline developed and a lot, a lot of good projects here. Um, this week we have FaberTube. Um, it's by Faber Labs and a really, really interesting um, decentralized um, video sharing platform um, that is actually deployed on Metis. So um, we're gonna bring on um, Sadoyan. Um, he is their um, head of marketing from Faber Labs. And let's bring him in now and then we'll, we'll get to it. There you are, how you doing buddy? It's fine, how are you? Good, good, good to have you. Um, I was just giving a, a quick intro about you guys, Favor Labs, and then um, you've got Favor too, which you're the head of marketing for. Um, just wanted to give you a chance to introduce yourself, a um, little bit about Favor uh, Tube, and we're going to watch the video right after. So um, uh, if, you, if you have any uh, opening remarks, now be the time. Okay, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, I, Shadaike uh, Das, head of marketing, uh, Favor Tube, is extremely overwhelmed uh, to get this opportunity. Uh, to present our project in front of uh, this reputed Metis community. And uh, let's see how we can uh, enrich the Metis community. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Um, and uh, for those that you don't know, um, the, the favorite two, they, they, they kind of came out of nowhere and deployed and, and, and had a great stealth deployment. Um, so this is going to probably be pretty new and pretty cool to, to a lot of uh, uh, our community. So let's get in the video, dig into to, to what favorite tube is, and, and then we'll get to chatting. Okay. All right. Hi, everyone. I am Himran. Glad to introduce favorite tube to you. Favorite tube is the industry's first fully decentralized application. It is a content creation platform and will be the landmark application taking web free com from concept to mass market. All projects currently with Web3 concept in the industry are partially decentralized. Never bring consumers the experience similar to Web2 application, nor provide participants with the content or revenue which are unavailable or difficult to obtain in Web2. These drawbacks block them from entering into the mass market. FavorTube is the first application scheme that is fully decentralized and provides consumers with a smooth video playback experience. In addition, empowered by full decentralization, it is also the first project that allows users to experience the effects and benefits of Web3 and easy to enter into the mass market. Webitube implements full decentralization by decomposing the individual technical modules required by Web3 application, then decentralizing each of them and finally unifying these modules in a single platform. FavorTube proposes the sub-chain technology to achieve high performance, tens of thousands of TPS and low cost, several times lower than central storage, rather than thousands of times for on-chain computing and recording solutions, thus decentralizing storage, content distribution, and database. The Web2 is a subdivided area that holds a large share of the internet, with the top megatechs all being Web2 platforms, with a market cap of $5 trillion. However, only 3% of the total internet population is currently involved in blockchain, which already has a market cap of 
one trillion dollars. So these are our team members. The following is the project display section. Now FavorTube is deployed on the Matrix main chain. This video shows how to log into FavorTube using IAM token wallet. So first click the sign in button at the top right of the home page. Click Wallet Connect again, then use your wallet to scan the QR code that pops up on your computer. Be sure to switch the, to the officially uh, designated test chain before authorizing it. Tap Hello on your mobile phone, but don't close the page and wait for the confirmation for the reconfirmation. Click Sign Up on your computer and then the window will pop up again on your phone. Then click Confirm and the channel is successfully created. This video shows how to subscribe to FavorTube channel on the Matches chain. To subscribe to a channel, find the video you need to subscribe to and then click subscribe. Subscription requires you to pay a favor token and about 0.002 Matches coins as gas fees. Click pay and you need to confirm the transaction on your mobile wallet. And now you can watch the subscribe videos watch other videos on of the channel owner click the exclamation point icon to view the video source address which is completely decentralized view favorite node details upload local video files and ip offer files to favorite decentralized network and read all the video files from favorite decentralized network into https colon slash slash export that favorlabs.io in your browser the prompt connection succeeded indicates a successful startup view the details of favorite node in windows click on info to see the node details node type version information ip address node address etc click on peers to view the node link number of the found nodes number of the linked full nodes number of the linked light nodes full peers the overlay addresses of the linked full nodes light peers the overlay addresses of the linked light nodes, block list, the blacklisted overlay addresses. They cannot be interconnected for one hour after being blacklisted. Upload and watch videos in Windows. Click files to upload a video. Select the video to be uploaded. Click upload to come. You will get the hash of the video after a successful upload. View the uploaded video. Import IPFS videos. For example, open the IPFS node, view the video. Copy the IPFS video hash or link, pass the, the hash, modify the video name, click upload, view the IPFS video hash, view the video, click home and enter the hash of the video to watch it. Return to files to see from which node the other videos are acquired. All right. Um technical video and I always love the technical ones because it kind of just shows you that it's just not a slide or just a website and it, and it really is um, a lot to it so um, IPFS decentralized video sharing how big is that how how is that affecting you know the future of web3 owning your own data I'll kind of give you the floor to talk about how how big and grand something like uh, favorite tube is and, and what you're trying to do with it yes uh uh, Web3 is a trend now. Uh, we, we have to accept it. So Paper Tube is a, is a harbinger technology which uh, bring Web3 in the forefront. And uh, I can tell you that Paper Tube is a decentralized uh, storage and content distribution platform. It uses Paper P2P network, which is incentivized. That means rewards will be distributed for uh, providing bandwidth and storage. So yes, uh, say no to uh, censorship, which is inherent to all with, uh, with two uh, centralized platforms such as YouTube, Rumble, or Instagram. Right, right. And, and that's definitely um, kind of one of the key tenets of what Web3 is, right? It's a revolution of taking back our data. And, and yes. you know, big tech kind of owns pretty much everything we create. And so the, the power really is in, in the content creators hands. And so there's several different approaches to um, kind of demo, democratizing your data and ownership of your data. How, how does FavorTube kind of do that? I, I know um, in the video, you kind of explained how, you know, the favor token, token works, but how does that work as a content creator? 
And then how does that also work as a viewer? Everything inside Favorite Cube platform is completely, every component is totally decentralized. So uh, you can uh, compare it with uh, other projects, other Web3 uh, applications, but they are not truly decentralized. We are, we are truly decentralized. So uh, we can tell you that uh, it will be kind of disruptive thing. Yep. Okay. Um, and how, how do the nodes work? Like how, I mean, for, for those that aren't aware, you guys use I, IPFS, correct? Yes, yes. And, and, and kind of how to explain just for, for an average user who's not too tech-based, like how, how does, does IPFS work and how do the nodes work? Is that similar to, I don't know, uh, like BitTorrent file sharing? Is it similar to how the blockchain works? Like just for, for if I was explaining this to my grandmother, how would you explain how FavorTube works with IPFS? Evercube uh, will be using different subchains. Uh, we'll be we'll be implementing different subchains uh, into uh, IPFS so that the workload of the main chain is reduced and the throughput is uh, increased. Each subchain will be operating a different task. For example, uh, storage matching subchain, uh, uh, data uh, uh, traffic accounting and bandwidth uh, accounting subchain. Each subchain will be uh, doing a specific task, thus increasing the throughput. Means, uh, yes, we are using IPFS, and uh, in the future we will be implementing I, uh, storage matching subchain. So, uh, uh, yes, uh, it will be a game changer. And you guys operate with a DAO as well. I, I was checking out your post on Candy Deck, and and it, um, you've got a DAO structure. Is that is that um, just kind of how you um, yes. deal with the, the the tokenomics and the and the burning mechanism? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, DAO mechanism will operate in three structure. First, uh, as an auditor. Second, as a normal voter, and third, as a uh, uh, as a community voter. And another one is the uh, normal voters. So uh, we don't support piracy of any kind. If data is stolen, is stolen from somewhere else and is uploaded, it can be taken down. Uh, uh, if uh, if uh, uh, if a uh, uh, if a question is raised right. on the uh, on the uh, platform on chain, then. Uh, something around nine auditors will be matched. And if 50% vote uh, are against the video, then it will be taken down. So yes, wow. uh, piracy will not be tolerated here. And illegal content, child pornography, yes, it won't be tolerated. So yes, uh, ensures security and- uh, Got it, okay. And, and, and it just, uh... You bring up a really good point, you know, with with uh, kind of decentralizing um, something like uh, a, a video uh, sharing platform. You do have that kind of uh, bad element of you know possible um, illegal activities or piracy. Does your DAO handle that? You said you have you know auditors or, or um, just a team dedicated to just um, how do they handle that? Do they just make a um, instant decision? This is illegal. Um, uh, are there any are there any filters on your on your uh, platform that that kind of stops those uh, uh, bad videos from going live before they go live, or do they have to go live? Somebody reports it, and then you take it down. No, at first there will be a screening option. Yeah, there will be a filter option, but uh, if somehow it is uploaded, if a, a video which is illegal, if it is uploaded, then uh, if a question is raised on chain, then the Auditors will be allotted something like nine auditors, and if fifty percent votes against it, it will be taken away. Got it. Okay. Um, and let's um, let's also talk about you know you've got your to uh, economy where obviously not only you pay the the Midas gas fee, um, but also um, you know you're subscribing, you're actually supporting a creator. So that we're seeing that in uh, a lot of different decentralized Web three. Uh, platforms, um, whether they're token based or just use, you know, the native network token to reward the creators. Um, so how does that work? So let's say I'm a, I don't know, a, a crypto influencer or maybe a sports celebrity or whatever, and I want to monetize my content. 
um, they would uh, pay in your token and, and that money would go to the creator? Uh, our uh, economic model is, uh, is pretty much solid. Uh, for example, uh, uh, our FBT tokens for, uh, we need uh, a con consumer need to pay FBT tokens to the uh, content creators to subscribe. A right. subscriber, a subscriber, uh, a, a consumer need to subscribe, uh, need to subscribe and pay FBT tokens. And uh, in order to watch those videos, he needs to pay FBT tokens. And content creators can uh, can create uh, can create contents. And in order to uh, raise funds, he can issue and he can even issue NFTs. We have, we are the first. Uh, we are the first to implement NFTs into the video streaming industry. We will be implementing NFTs. So yes, crowdfunding will be happening here also because wow. we will be uh, introducing NFTs, NFTs for crowdfunding. Okay, cool. So so um, that's a big thing on your roadmap. Um, any other um, really cool things on your roadmap coming up? Uh, uh, yes, uh, we will be implementing storage matching subchain and uh, NFTs integration uh, is on the process. Oh, cool. Well, good deal. Um, and, and, and I don't want, want to go too long, but uh, just, just in closing, um, do, you, do you have any, um, you know, what, what are your plans to kind of get, get major traction and get people to come over it? Um, are you guys on, on different chains? And, 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 and what, what's going on with your marketing in order to kind of build the buzz and get people to start using, you know, FavorTube? We are, uh, we are now uh, on testing phase. We are testing, we are uh, uh, allowing different users to come and test our uh, D app. Yep. Uh, in the second phase, in the second phase, which is coming nearby, we will be giving airdrops to uh, attract people to come and uh, make channels we had content, we will be giving airdrops. Yes, we are on different chains. Uh, we are on Polygon, uh, Metis, OKC. We have signed a MOU with OKC even. Uh, we are on different chains to attract uh, different communities. Uh, yes, we are in talks with different uh, YouTubers, some famous YouTubers, uh, they are on board. So yes, we are uh, pretty much on target to achieve our dream. Good deal. Well, cool. Well, I'm sure there's a lot more that we didn't cover, um, but you've got, I love your, uh, one, of, one of the more detailed posts for sure on Candy DAC. You've got your videos, you've got things about tokenomics, um, several videos guys for you to check out. Um, and then also, um, so we'll, we'll, why don't you hop in the, the CEG Telegram chat? So if anyone has any follow-up questions throughout the weekend um, while they're voting for you guys, but um, yeah, this has been this has been great. I love the um, kind of thinking outside the box. Who knows where this will go? But that doesn't mean that that um, this won't can't evolve as it grows. You know, with our community support, with your dev support, to to, to really refining it and, and kind of working out the kinks of what will eventually be um, uh, the transition of Web three uh, social media. Yes, definitely. Awesome. We're looking forward to to, inter, uh, to cooperate and to uh, enrich Metis community. There you go. Well, thanks so much, Sadoi. Did you have anything else you want to say before, before we get going? Uh, yes, uh, I would uh, like to tell, uh, come and uh, to, uh, to Metis community, come and uh, uh, start uh, using our D app, start uh, testing our technology, come and uh, our technology that's all there we go this is what we do here we we, we um, kind of uh, connect the developers with the community um and kind of uh, just allow them to to explore what's new innovative and in, in, um some of these just launched projects so um really happy to have you here sadoy and, and looking forward to um seeing checking with the progress of, of favor tube as you uh move on your development cycle yes yeah looking forward to it all right well you take care buddy thanks again thanks bye all right, guys, that uh, that was favorite too. So make sure you vote. Um, I, I just want to stress how important it is uh, uh, for everybody to vote the, each week, really. Um, they are our reputation power badges that we just um, released with our matrix system. 
Um, we've got several different campaigns going, um, but of course, uh, being a great media citizen and, and voting is, is always important. Um, I want to thank uh, Sadoy and the favorite two guys and everybody for tuning in. Um, we're going to keep it on every Friday. We're going to be pumping episodes out. So episode 16 coming soon. I uh, really appreciate it, guys. Take care.